Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle Mills. For those of you who are new, welcome. And welcome back to my subscribers. I'm going to be doing a little book review of the novel called Golden Child by Claire Adam. Sorry for the reflections, but I can't help it. It's the book design, so yeah. And probably one of the best things about this book is the cover. Now, let's get started. This book, Golden Child, it's a book written by a Caribbean author. She's a Trinidadian author. Claire Adam and the story is also set in Trinidad. This book is on my October TBR. I'll link the video down below if you haven't seen it as yet. Let's just say this book took me on one hell of a ride. Let me tell you a little bit about what this book is about. I don't want to give away any spoilers but this book basically is about a man who's trying to find his missing son. He has two sons. They're twin boys. One is extremely brilliant, a bit of a genius and the other one is not. Uh, apparently he has some kind of learning challenge because of a birth defect or something like that. Nobody really knows what's his main problem and because of that his father and his family members basically look down on him. They kind of neglect him and they put the very intelligent brother up on this pedestal. So he is the golden child. If you know about the golden child syndrome, well it's very very heavily prevalent in this book which is aptly named golden child. So we have lots and lots of favoritism by the father to the son who is this genius. Such favoritism ultimately leads to a very unsatisfactory ending in my opinion for the other son who is Paul who is not as intelligent therefore according to the father not worthy of as much attention or love or money as his more intelligent brother Peter. Right, so Paul, who's the less smarter of the twins, he goes missing one day and the majority of the story is basically the father trying to find him, trying to find him, not doing a very good job. A lot of it is told in flashback. We have it starting in present day and then we have a big jump to flashback to when they were now born and then it continues up to kind of present day. Overall, I did not like this story. I did not like, most of all, how this story ended for Paul, who was my favorite character. As I said, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, so I'll just, I won't tell you what happens to Paul, but if you read this book, you would completely understand where I'm coming from. Let me get into, you know, the pros and the cons. So what I liked about this story would be very, very short, just fair warning very very short as opposed to what I did not like Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. what I liked about this story well overall I think the author Claire Adam she has a good grasp or good command of the English language so she describes scenery very um, descriptively it's depicted in such a way where you could easily visualize what scenes she's talking about certain descriptions that is are very well done for example, in the book, she describes a wall, like the bricks being pressed together, like how a sandwich is pressed together. So you can kind of see the cement creeping out like an overstuffed sandwich with the jam and the peanut butter squashing out. So yeah, I like that kind of description. It was very vivid. What I also liked was the fact that the author portrayed the village life very well. The story mainly takes place in a village where the family lives. This village is a bit remote from modern amenities and the majority of the towns and so. Oh yeah, that's the end of my prose. So let's get into the cons, as in why I did not like this story. Now, let me preface this by saying that I tried very hard to understand this story after I finished reading it. This story left me dazed and confused and my heart and my chest, just thinking about it, just bringing back these emotions because of how this author treated Paul, who was my favorite character. You know, I don't like to see the underdog be crushed and, and, and suffer. You know, it's like, if you have an underdog, the underdog should serve a purpose somewhere along the line in the story's journey. And this underdog will somehow rise in the ranks. You don't even have to become the alpha, but rise up a bit more. So, number one, con, the story has a very terrible ending in my point of view. 
for the character Paul. There are very, very heavy themes in this story as well, which I was not aware of when I first bought this book. Related to that, I think books like this should come with some kind of a warning, some kind of trigger warning. To warn you guys, just in case you haven't read it, this book contains sexual assault, especially of a minor, and child abuse, neglect, kidnapping. To me, the themes, the content was so heavy, it was kind of a bit too realistic. My type of fiction that I like to read, it shouldn't be too realistic to the point that it's morbid and makes you depressed because I like to read to be entertained and, you know, to find some kind of enjoyment in the story, to take me away from my troubles and the reality of my world. Right now I'm in Trinidad. And yes, I know Trinidad has its problems, lots of crime, violence, kidnapping, lots of what go on in the story. But to me, it was too real. So it just came across as very morbid. Now, I understand there may be people who enjoy that kind of story. I have a friend who seems to really love sad stories because she says it makes her feel better about her own life. But for me, no, no, no. I don't want to be depressed and sad and unable to sleep when I'm finished reading a story. And that is what happened for me with this book. A minor issue I had with it was the fact that we don't really see major black characters in this book, despite the fact that it takes place in Trinidad. Although it seems to be set decades ago, still, decades ago, a large proportion of the country's population was black. The main characters appear to be of East Indian descent and the only major interactions with black characters appear to be with one guy who's a raster but he appears to be in the story for comedic purposes and the only other reference to a black person I could remember at this point is a servant Ooh. and of course the criminal, the main criminal in this story is black so we have comedic black raster man we have black servant and we have a black criminal. Those are the main black characters. The story is also written in present tense, which I find generally to be a bit jarring unless the author has a very good grasp of writing stories like that. This is my first encounter with this author's work. I mean, overall, it wasn't too bad in terms of the tense, but I generally don't like stories which are told in present tense. Unless, like I said, it could flow and the author does a very good job with describing the story and making everything make sense in the present tense because it also flips as, as I said back into the past then you have to come back to the present and it's like mm. and getting back to the point of the description which I said in the beginning I thought was a pro as in she described certain things very well but on the other hand I think overall it was a bit too descriptive for example very early on in the book we have a scene where the golden child, Peter, is described as going to the bathroom and we get all the descriptions of him urinating and how the sound of his flow of urine tinkles and the pictures of the urine splashing against the water in the toilet bowl. I mean, really? Is that really necessary? I mean, yes, Miss Adam, you might want to show off your writing style, but still, I mean, do we have to get so very detail to the point of grossness, at least gross to me. And there are several other examples like that. For example, color and texture of a child molester's penis. I mean, come on, do we really, really need to know that in order to understand what's happening in the story? I really did not like the favoritism, which was shown to the more intelligent brother, Peter. We got several of the chapters told in Paul's point of view which to me, I think probably made it even worse for me in the end because the author build up this kind of rapport, you kind of make a bond with the character. For him to get the kind of ending he got, I thought it was like building up a story and then you just get no payoff. You know, you're just being built up, built up, built up and then bam, you get no release. It's like, what? It's like, really? So yeah, I didn't like how Paul was treated at all. I also found that there was no real major character development for this golden child, Peter. I mean, yes, we know that he's very intelligent, he's ambitious, he studies very hard so he could pass his tests and get scholarships. But apart from that, we don't really learn much about his personality. At least, that's what I think. I mean, yes, he plays with his brother, he's kind, he's nice, but apart from that, we don't really learn much about him as a character. And my last little gripe about this story is the fact of the time jumping. I found it a bit confusing 
at first it started out in the current times and then there was a sudden shift to the past and it took me like at least a page and a half in the new time period for me to realize that it wasn't the same time period and then from there the story kind of works its way forward to return to current day and then continues forward. I thought at least maybe a little title at the top of the period jump could have been useful. And now it's pouring rain outside just to add to my sorrows and misery over this story. But yes. In a nutshell, those are the reasons why I did not like this story and although I try very hard to give a chance to authors who I don't know, particularly if they're from the Caribbean, because as you guys know, I like to promote Caribbean authors here on my channel, which is why I decided to buy this book and give it a chance. Despite the fact that I wanted to support Caribbean authors, I cannot really recommend this book unless you're a person who don't mind sad stories, sad endings, unfair endings, and you don't mind not being able to sleep at night because you're confused and you're upset as to how your favorite character was treated. If you don't mind, if, if that's cool with you, well then yeah, you could give it a try. But yeah, Golden Child, I will not be rereading anytime soon. Now, my rating out of 5 stars, I would probably give it a 2.5. And if I were being very generous, I might boot it up to a 3. But uh -uh, 2.5, because of that ending, because of extreme set of description, which I thought was just overdone. And mainly because of that ending and how Paul was treated, which was just so unfair and unnecessary. I mean, come on, he was a child. Why did he have to go through such torture? Anyway. I'm trying to calm myself. I'm trying to calm myself. It's over. It's just a book. It's just a book. It's just a book. So, if you guys read it and you had a different opinion, feel free to let me know why. Let me know do down below. If you thought otherwise, please let's let's debate because when I finished reading this book, I really wanted to find somebody to talk to about it, somebody who read it. I actually messaged my mother and you know told her how I was feeling, how this book made me so sad and upset. If you've read it, please let me know. Maybe you could help me understand what you really liked about it. I mean, I could see how it could be used for analysis, but at the same time, that ending it just it just clouded over everything that might have been good in the story to me. To me, you could start rough, the middle could be rough, but if you don't end well, to me it's just it's just terrible. It's just bad. Last thing you do is what is most memorable, isn't it? So, yeah. That was my book review of this novel, Golden Child by the author Claire Adam. If you've read it, let me know. If not, well, fair warning. Feel free to subscribe, of course, you know what to do. Click that red button, click the notification bell as well if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.